So we've already talked about uh, velocity as being the rate at which your position changes. Okay. The next thing is is uh, acceleration. Okay. Okay. Acceleration is the rate at which your velocity changes. And if you look at the units for acceleration, they're kind of funny. There's meters per second per second. The best way to think about that is um, that if you look at this, this is change in velocity over time, right? So it's meters per second of velocity changed every second, right? So if you are changing your velocity by, say, one meter per second every second, at the first second, you're going zero meters per second, right? After one second, you're going one meter per second. In two seconds, you're going two meters per second. And in three seconds, every second that goes by, in three seconds, you're going three meters per second. Every second that goes by, you're gaining one meter per second every second, right? Okay? So that's the idea, and that's why the units are meters per second per second. Now, you can write it meters per second per second, which is easiest to type. You can say meters per second squared which is really common. IB says that the proper way to write this is meters seconds to the minus two. Okay, um, I don't care what you do. I find this a little bit confusing and I find this easy to type. So, you know, there it is. You choose whatever you want to do. Whatever one is fine. Here's an example. Um, a car goes from zero to 27 meters per second in nine seconds. What's its acceleration? Uh, so our acceleration is change in velocity over time, right? The change is from 0 to 27 is positive 27 meters per second, right? Um, and then it's in 9 seconds. So 27 meters per second divided by 9 seconds is 3 meters per second per second, right? Or And I guess we have, what, two sig figs here, so um, we would say 3.0 meters seconds to the minus 2, or 3.0 meters per second per second or whatever, right? Okay, so it really it's a pretty simple concept. Let me do one more example here that's that's uh, uh, fairly difficult, and then you know I think you'll have this basic idea. Okay, so here's a rocket. It, it accelerates at 4.5 g's upward, right? What time will it take to reach the speed of sound, which is 343 meters per second? So we're using this formula, A is delta V over T. I think my delta V is going to be 0 to 343, so it's going to be positive 343. That'll be my, my delta V. This is what I'm trying to find. right? And then 4.5 Gs, what do we mean by that? Um, well, 1 G in IB land is 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, So 4.5 g's is 4.5 times 9.81. So I need a calculator. Okay. Uh-oh. No, I don't want to excuse the, excuse the interruption. Okay. So 4.5 times 9.81. This is 44.145. 145. Okay, so that's meters per second squared, right? Okay, so now we've got the acceleration, is that, right? This guy is, is uh, 44.145. Okay, and now we're all set. We can just set this thing up. Um, and so let's go 44.145 is equal to 343 over some amount of time, right? Okay, so now the question is how do you solve for time and the answer is that I'm just going to switch these guys out. That's meters per second. This is meters per second squared, right? And so I'm going to put the T, the T will end up being, will end up being uh, 343 meters per second divided by 44.145 meters per second squared. Now if you're tracking the units here, Clearly, a meter per second is going to cancel a meter per second, and you'll end up with one of these seconds on the bottom of the bottom, which puts it on the top, right? So 343 divided by that answer is, and I'm getting 7.7698 seconds, and it looks like we've got two sig figs because of this guy, so I have to say 
about 7.8 seconds. There we go. You might want to try uh, a couple of the example problems. If you've understood it so far, I would just do like one example problem and, and you're probably set. Um, if you're still struggling, try some of the example problems that follow this video.